here we are at the haunted uh, flea market in Wheaton, Illinois, and I have the pleasure and privilege of sitting here and talking to the lovely Larissa Gomez. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Larissa, um, where are you from originally? I'm from Toronto, so not too far from here, actually, right? in Illinois. Um, I actually come to Chicago a lot as a kid, but I grew up in Toronto. Really? And uh, I moved out to L.A. Now I'm, I'm you know, residing on the West Coast. I moved out to L.A. about seven years ago, six or seven mm. years ago. But I still have a lot of Canadian-isms. <laughs> I think there's a lot of people out there who still, every time, they're, oh, you're Canadian, no doubt about it. Pose hey. off. <laughs> <laughs> and they'll, they'll pull out every every little thing. They're like beer and maple syrup, and I'm like, yeah, that's pretty much all I eat. And then, yeah, beer and maple syrup. Yep. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> I, I didn't really think so. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, you've been in a number of uh, large draw, uh, well, blockbusters, uh, mm -hmm. uh, Saw Six. Saw 3D, yeah. uh, Resident Evil Apocalypse, uh, or Resident Evil 2, whichever you want to call it. Yep, yep but, that's uh, great. Um, and you were in uh, Femme Nikita. La Femme Nikita, yeah, the series, the, the old, the original series. Excellent. Yeah, that was on USA. How did you get your uh, uh, start in acting? It was actually an, an interesting story. I. Uh, I was in school and then I, right after school I had an opportunity to, to travel to Hong Kong to sing with a cover band <laughs> in a five star hotel. Really? And I did that. So I went because um, I wanted to travel and I did that for six uh, months and I started receiving a lot of encouragement um, from you know people in the business that I should consider musical theater and do more, you know, maybe go into acting and that type of thing. And I had taken theater and mm -hmm. I'd done theater in, in high school, quite a lot of it, but um, I didn't really think or to take it seriously as a career at that right. point. So uh, when I came back from Hong Kong, I started to do musical theater, and that's how it kind of snowballed. And then I got an agent, and then I started doing roles in film and television, and wow. I haven't stopped since. So, what's yeah, your what's your great. favorite genre of uh, of film? Yeah. I like psychological thrillers, and I love dark comedies. Really? Yeah. Or sometimes just all-out comedies. Uh -huh. But uh, but yeah, psychological thrillers. I think. Like I'm I'm really a big fan of uh, uh, like Kubrick and um, Hitchcock mm -hmm. and you know um, Lynch. Excellent. Lynch. And uh, I mean I could name a bunch, but yeah I. I I, those are the kinds of films that I really responded to, especially when it comes to like thrillers and horror films. I like some th films that have the feeling where of um, not so much blood and gore, but more this kind of psychological terror. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, that's what I like. <laughs> what was your um, is it in film Nikita? You yeah. played a. a uh, agent, double agent type thing? I did, yeah. I played an operative. They operative. were called operatives. Oh, excuse there. me. Yes, I'm operative. The, the Nikita. And, um, yeah, I was actually brought in to uh, kind of recruit my own boyfriend, to double cross my own boyfriend mm -hmm. um, at the time. And so she was pretty. Uh, she was pretty wicked. dedicated <laughs> to her uh, to her mission, yeah. So um, I seem to get a lot of those roles uh, where you know you 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 kind of I did in the beginning, and I I love playing them. It's so much fun to play those kinds of roles, you know, where you really have this duality in your personality, you know. Mm -hmm. Have things. you had training in like martial arts or? Um, I did actually kickboxing. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh really? I did do uh, I did quite a number of years of kickboxing. Uh, these two brothers from Toronto, I think it was called the Twin Dragon. Really? Um, and they were, yeah, I did that for a while, and that was a lot of fun. A lot of bloody knuckles. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll be very careful on what I say. <laughs> <laughs> well, they did keep all the women after class um, and, and teach us, like, 15 ways to kill somebody instantly if you're in a compromising position, but I can honestly say that I maybe remember one. Because, you know, it's difficult to remember that unless you're like doing it all doing the time. It right, and right. Who's really doing that? To, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you can only kill me in one way. In one way. Without thinking too hard. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Ooh, I saw the Canadian coming through there. <laughs> Little Mike Myers, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I was laughing too hard to, uh, and I kicked the... <laughs> so sorry for those who are viewing, but I just kicked the uh, uh, tripod. Do you know that Wayne's World was actually... Um, the, char the character that Mike Myers did in Wayne's World was actually based on... Um, I guess the char characters, the types of people that lived in this area just outside of Toronto called Scarborough. Really? Yeah, and, and true to that era and true to that kind of like personality that I think you would see living in their basement and like rocking out and those kinds of dudes. I, I completely saw that growing up, so I knew exactly when I saw that character where he drew that inspiration from. Oh, know? wow. So it was really cool, yeah. Maybe I should have started the, uh, this interview. Here we are in my dad's basement. Hey, uh, <laughs> world, it's a yeah. <laughs> uh, hey, uh, speaking of music, um, you, uh, as when we were chatting earlier, you uh, have a band. I do, yeah. I, um, I've been in several bands over the years, and I've toured, and I've done um, recorded works on, you know, different albums, different artists, and compilations and whatnot. But now I'm, I have a, a duo, and we're going to be releasing, we've finished our EP, we're going to be releasing a single, hopefully by New Year's. Excellent. And the group's called Of Giants. And uh, it's kind of an 80s retro sound with a little bit of go-go's, a little bit of maybe... It's hard to describe your own sound, right? <laughs> right. But, I don't know, a little bit of go-go's sort of passion pit, which is, I don't know if anyone out there would, would know. Uh, it's got like a very kind of big electronic sound, so... Very cool. We're really excited. So yeah. what's, the, what's the single that's coming out? Uh, well, we have, it's probably If You Found Love, that's what it's called, but we haven't exactly decided yet. We're kind of discussing it with the label, so. Oh, so we'll it, if it is, yeah. it will be If You Found Love. If yeah. You found love. <laughs> yeah. Uh, did you write that? Yes, I've written everything, uh, all of the songs with uh, my producer. So. Where, where can somebody find your music? Well, I did have a bunch of stuff out, um, you know, on several mm -hmm. sites before, but now that uh, we're coming out with the new group, um, I don't really have anything out there anymore other than the ones that I have are on different albums that I've, mm -hmm. you know, the groups and bands that I've recorded with. Okay. So you would be able to find that, I'm sure, if you typed in my name, it might come out up maybe or on iTunes uh -huh. type of thing. Very cool. Yeah. So that's um, that's this December, January. Hopefully, yeah, for New Year's. Hopefully, that's that's what we're aiming for. So. So it's already down and. Uh, yeah, they're they just need they need to be mixed and mastered and finishing touches, but we're just tr trying to just have it out by New Year's. That's what we're. That's our goal. Awesome. So, Very cool. But there's a lot more people involved in it other than me, so. But that's where we're all working together. So. Do you also play an instrument? I play keys just a little bit enough to be able to structure a song. Right. You know, and yeah. compose a song, but not enough to to call myself a musician. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm a songwriter, singer, mm -hmm. but I hope to be able to like get much better at, at working the keyboard. You know, mm -hmm. to be able to be comfortable to play while I'm on stage. That would be. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Playing and singing at the same time yeah. has to be. Well, I, I'm I'm impressed by musicians. Yeah, me too. Especially one so beautiful as yourself. Oh, but, thank uh, you. Well, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're 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 a very good actor, but it helps to be beautiful. <laughs> thank you. Uh, uh, I don't have Hollywood beating my door down. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. That was rude. Um. Let me uh, let me ask you though, just kind of a weird little question. Mm -hmm. If um, if I had the brilliance and the knowledge and of your background to ask you just the most uh, pointed question that would go right to just the most amazing answer that nobody would even have have uh, gotten an answer for uh, or even thought to ask you in an interview, <laughs> 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 what would that answer be? <laughs> in other words. Well, uh, uh, See, tell me, tell me see, an interesting story. Well, seeing as this is weird review, uh -huh. <laughs> I do have a stupid human trick. But that, but enough about. <laughs> oh well, 
<laughs> we may have to end with that. <laughs> but I do also, one thing that people might not know is that I, that I, uh, um, when I was working on La Femme Nikita, I, I got really, really great at uh, playing basketball. Really? Yeah, which you wouldn't expect. I mean, I'm 5'3", you know, really. And all the guys that would play in between, you know, over breaks or whatever, um, the crew and the cast, a lot of, you know, different shapes and sizes, but basically tall. Uh-huh. And I would just get in there and play, and it was so much fun. And uh, I think toward the end of it, I was really kicking some ass. Really? I was really working it out, yeah. But no, that's not, that's neither here nor there. That's not really, I just wanted to let everyone know that I had some skills. You are in a the basketball department. You are a skillful <laughs> basketball player, eh? So what yeah. is a stupid so, human oh, trick? Oh, human trick. Well, I can do a really, really bad pseudo beatbox while I hum the Canadian National Anthem. Really? This sounds, uh, so, sounds interesting. It's pretty crazy. You want to give me a, a sample? I do, I'll do a little, how about a little bar for you. Right. So, like I said, really bad beatbox, but. Yeah, I don't care. There you go. That's awesome. <laughs> Yay, <laughs> <for> stupid human <laughs> tricks. Oh, that was great. That was really great. Yeah. Uh, Thank you so much. Well, you know, I try. <laughs> <laughs> you, you blew me away. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'd say. Awesome. Cool. Thank you so much, Thanks. Larissa. Uh, from the Weird Review and from me, thank you so much. My pleasure. Bye. Bye. <laughs>